Hey guys, welcome to my office. This is not really a familiar space that you see me at, do you? No, you usually see me out on the range, and, and that's really cool, but today it's way too cold outside, and I'm gonna bring you the EDC Ready Pack uh, Vertex review uh, of this bag that's literally traveled all over the world with me. After spending over a year with the bag, uh, about uh, six, 15 months with this, this actual bag right here, uh, I kind of want to talk with you and share with you some of the things that I like about it, some of the things that I don't like about it, and see if it will help you with a purchase. Maybe you decide that you like this bag, or the Game It Plus, or the Commuter, whatever it happens to be for your purposes. So let's hop into that right now. So when you think about a bag, what are some of the things that you normally think about? You gotta be quiet because we're in a church. I like to think about what's its purpose. What am I using the bag for? Now the manufacturer can, can deliver a purpose for the bag. This bag is to do this. But then when we buy a bag, we have to conform the bag to basically our everyday lives. And what do we use the bag for? Well, different bags serve different purposes. Just like if you're going to school, you're not gonna use the same bag that you'd go out to hike um, you know, uh, you know, the Appalachia, right? Um, you're going to use a particular bag for that instance, and you're gonna use a bag every day, you're gonna use a bag for when you travel, and sometimes those things may overlap, and I guess the goal is really to find a bag that does lots of different things, not only for me, but maybe also for you. So as we go throughout this, I kinda want you to think about, I kinda want you to think about what am I going to buy this bag or use this bag for? It does it accomplish my purposes. The last thing I want you to do is say, oh, here's a cool piece of gear, better buy it, you know? Don't think of it like that. Think of it like, what purpose do I have for this so that you really get the most out of not only your money, but also the gear that you use. Now, as far as the specs of the actual bag go, I'd really encourage you to visit Vertex's website to learn a little bit more about the, uh, the actual details of the bag. But uh, the bag is three pounds, uh, right at an ounce under three pounds. It holds 25 liters, so it's a good size bag. And, and really what this bag is designed and what I've purposed it for is the everyday back and forth uh, things that I do or when I travel, this is usually my carry-on. As you can see, the bag has had a considerable amount of use, but the wear and tear on this bag is very limited, and it's something that I'm very impressed with. One of the things that I absolutely cannot stand when it comes to bags are when zippers break, and it happens with a lot of the cheap stuff that you have there on the market now. Now, other than my Transit, my Transit sling bag, this bag has gotten the most use out of it, uh, out of all my Vertex products other than my pants and uh, jackets, and we'll talk about those different things at a different time. But this bag right here, what I love about this bag is that this bag is absolutely made to last. For 150 bucks, this bag right here is just like, it, it has it frayed, right? Zippers haven't gotten stuck or you know anything like that. The th common things that you find with bags, like bottoming out from all the book ba or, uh, books that you would put in them, those different types of things, this bag has yet to do. So I'm super impressed with the quality, especially for the price that I'm paying for it. Now let's go over some of the features of the bag, and I'm gonna try not to say features very much. So we're gonna start with the front, the very front pocket here, and as we open it up, seeing what's going on. We've got some space for pins. We've got this nice kind of uh, uh, zipper mesh area right here. And one of the things that I love about Vertex products is that they're always thinking about us, right? When you open up a normal bag, the normal lining inside lining is the same color as usually the bag. If it's black, then this is all black. And it makes it difficult to see like black pins or whatever it is that you're looking for down in there. And uh, with the, the lining being more lighter, it's easier to see things. So that's just one of the little, little details about this bag that I absolutely love. Now we move on to the middle compartment of the bag where this is the kind of the Molly section where you can really put anything that you want to. You can have your Molly attachments for your uh, tourniquets or your flashlights, ma extra magazines, whatever it happens to be. And then it goes even further down into the bag and this is where we can mount Tactigami or any kind of Velcro products that we want to that we want to have stay down at the bag. This goes all the way down to the bottom so it's a good amount of space. Another feature of the very front is the actual grab handle and this as opposed to this is something the back grab handle. This is something that I find myself grabbing more often than not because when we throw it in a car it's usually looks like that right and we just scoop up and grab it so it's just one of those little things that 
you know, is very subtle, but at the same time, it's, it's a wonderful little spot in the design of the bag. Now we move on to the actual main compartment of the bag. And when you open it up, of course, what you notice, bright colors, right? Things to let you see what's going on a little bit more efficiently. Like I said before, I like the, the lighter lining because you can actually see stuff of what's going on. But you've got a, a mesh pocket here that you can really put anything and see just about anything in. You've got uh, different spaces for pins or lights or whatever it happens to be. And then you've got the main compartment place where you can put you know, your laptop. It holds a 15 inch laptop right down here. Or a bladder, if you wanted to put a bladder in here, they actually have a little spot right there you can run your hose into and um, suck your hydration out of, so on and so forth. The bag's got a really deep and uh, very just simplistic uh, storage capacity right in here. Now we look at the actual side of the bag. Usually I put uh, some type of uh, drink in here, but you can really cinch it down for whatever you want to. I happen to cinch it down one side for sunglasses and shooting glasses. And yeah. fake Ray-Bans, not real ones, I'm not that rich and they usually just use one side for um, hydration throw a bottle in there Gatorade whatever it happens to be and then we have the actual padding of the bag in the back we've got some nice little uh, straps that you can use to take this and boop, although I don't think those are lined up nope they are lined up that's good uh, other additional webbing spots for whatever it is that you want to do whatever you, it is that you want to put there um, sunglasses, so on and so forth. I really do like these clips a lot. Uh, these clips are very easy to use. They're not very stiff, although they will not pull apart. I've tried doing that before. Matter of fact, in Israel, um, true story, I got hit by a camel and I was wearing the bag and it was a part of the, uh, the, the harness or the, what is it, the saddle of the camel and it hit me on the side and I thought my bag was just gonna rip right off of me but it didn't, and I was really impressed with that. So there's the camel story for you. Uh, it goes down into this section right here, and of course all this is like double-stitched and cross-stitched. Um, I'm not a seamstress, so I don't know really um, what that is, but I know that this bag has held up well. <laughs> then we have the concealment portion right here, as you can also obviously see, Ooh, words are hard, and grabbing this and accessing this concealment portion for whatever it is that you want to put in here. So let's get into that. So now, like with all Vertex products, you've got a concealment feature for a drag handle to access whatever it is you need to. Access a weapon, access a medical, whatever it is and however it is that you have this concealment section set up. Muy bueno, good job Vertex. Uh, usually what I have to do with this bag, unlike the slings where you can just grab it and sling it because it's only on one strap and it just slings across your chest, with this bag, I actually have to drop aside, come around, and then make my purchase for whatever it is that I'm making my purchase for. But this concealment feature for this bag is what I like a lot, and, and it's what's uh, very helpful. You've got the section that you can use all your tatagami for, so you can put all your tatagami pouches, or if you don't like those and you want to use your own holsters and use the tatagami inserts for you attaching those things into here, you can most certainly do that. You've got this section right here that you can put armor, and I know Defender Armor is now making stuff for uh, the EDC Ready Pack. So that, if, if, if like, I don't know, if... if uh, if active shooters are a thing that you're actually, uh, that you can actually foresee uh, as we start seeing more of those things in our country, it, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get some armor in there. And from a lot of people, I've not used any armor in my everyday carry, but a, a lot of people have and they've messaged and they've told me that you don't even really know it's there. Well, I don't know how true of a statement that is. I don't know if it's like wearing uh, weights on your ankles and after about 15 minutes you don't really know that they're there, but neither here nor there. I don't, I, I, I've yet to try it, so I can't really talk about it. And then they have this thing right here that I usually put uh, sweaters or sweatshirts through, and, but you could use it as a shield to, after you strike uh, your enemy, you can take out your Spartan sword and slash them or whatever it happens to be, or, or just use it to hold up to protect yourself or um, a guy who's got a knife. Uh, believe it or not, this is this bag right here. If I had a guy who had a knife, this would be a great spot to have him cut through instead of my arm or anything like that. So, actually, I just thought of that. That what a cool thing. 
uh, and, and just to have between you and your vital organs and the bad guy with a knife. Hmm, interesting. Just made it to the review. So moving on to the things that I don't like about this bag. First of all, multicam. Oh, very nice. Um, this multicam uh, is, is really cool. I like it, but at the same time, it's not really low vis. I'm not going to like walk around in public with this, or maybe you will. I'm just not that that tactical kind of guy, or I try not to be. Um, one of the things that I do not like about this bag is that it has the cummerbund straps, right? That uh, these cummerbund straps are way too thin. And what that means is that there's just not a lot of purchase area. I love how these come out though. They, they ball up and they stow away very nice. And I'll talk and show you, you the stowing away feature that they have. But for whatever reason, if you want to alleviate some of the pressure on your back, like I had to do in Israel. In Israel, I walked probably uh, anywhere between eight to 10 miles a day. And in that walking that I did, uh, a lot of times I had to carry backpacks or I had to carry books and study materials and those things alike because we'd go from this place to this place and I'd want to read up and study while I was doing that. Well, one of the things that I did was put on my cummerbund strap. I know it's taking me some time to do this. It's not really thick. It's very thin. And it was actually hurting my stomach because I got a little... I got a little to love there, you know, I got a little chunk monk right there. But it was, uh, it, it alleviated the pressure, but after, you know, a mile of walking, it just really felt like it was digging into me. So, uh, you know, this is the, this is the, the trade-off. It's just like, and it's also got this one right here that alleviates pressure too. And these won't come off, by the way. These, once these cinch down, these cinch down. The great thing about these is, is that if you don't want them, you can take them off. It's very easy to take them off. And what's great about these cummerbund straps right here is that they have a spot to go. Check this out. That if you don't want them, you can take them off, right? Or if you just want to stow them, there's a spot that you can actually stow them that's separate from the actual um, uh, shield uh, grab compartment. So if you don't want these cummerbund straps, you say, you know what, cummerbund straps, uh, abracadabra, disappear. And they most certainly will. So you can ball them up, you do a better job than that, obviously. But ball them up, stick them up there, and get rid of them, of course. So that's really my only complaint about the bag, is that they've, they offer this thing for me, but the thing is not really a, a strong solution. Uh, if that makes any sense, I just don't see it as strong. I, I, of course, it could be wider, and if it was wider, it'd make it more bulky. So, of course, there's a trade-off there. Pros and cons, you just got to decide what you like and what you don't like. So, I don't like them. So, normally, like on this one, I don't, um, I have one that's lost. I like having the front strap, but not the cummerbund strap, because I just think it's too much bulk. Plus, with those things that hang, it just kind of looks tactical. It's not really low-vis at that point, because that's a clear giveaway for me. So there you go, guys. I want to thank you so much for joining me on this kind of like review slash overview of the Vertex EDC Ready Bag. I think that this is a great option, especially for the money that you're paying for the everyday usage. If you're a student, if you're a commuter who has to commute all the time, fantastic and perfect little size of a bag that you can really put anything in. Uh, I also want to let you know that I've got a promo code, True Exodus, um, right here. Uh, for 25% off all of Vertex products. So even if you don't like the bag and you're like, hey, I want the Gamut or I want the Gamut Plus or I want the Transit, doesn't matter what bag it is. If you want the pants, which I got the pants on right now, these Delta Stretch Pro has been wearing them for a year. Absolutely love these uh, pants. But for whatever reason, if you wanted something in the store that I haven't shown, it's okay, it's still 25% off. Make sure you look at the Tatagami that's there in the retail store as well, and that's gonna help you out, uh, give you some ideas for organization, so on and so forth. So guys, thanks so much for joining me in my little office space. Again, it's really cold outside, so thanks for bearing with me. Hold fast, stay the course, true exodus, out.